Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. This is The Art of Comics. Before we get started, I wanted to say a special thank you to all of you who've been supporting the channel by joining the Patreon. So all you Patreons on Patreon for using the Amazon links there for purchasing some of the books and items that I've been talking about and for subscribing and hitting that bell icon there in the description. Those three items, ways, and actions you can do to help support me and this channel. And I appreciate it. For those of you who haven't done that yet, that's okay. You got time. Do one of those, and I think you're the bee's knees. Now, on to the show. As you guys know, I've been really getting into vinyl collecting lately. It's been taking up a good amount of my little cerebral cortex here. Of course, I'm still doing the comics, I'm still working in the illustration field, but I just am really getting into music and vinyl collecting. So I thought, you know what, there are so many classic illustrations and, and great album artwork. Why don't we do a video about the art of albums and pick some of them? So this is like a first episode. Comment if you want me to do more, and at the end of this, We'll do some more. If no one's really into it, we won't do any more of these. But I've got more albums. We can go into this pretty extensively. But I picked out some here I thought would be kind of fun to talk about. We'll just chat a little bit about the art. You'll see some of the stuff I've got. Maybe we can learn a few things. Okay? So here we go. Let's talk about comic book. No, it's not comic book. Let's talk about illustration in albums. Let's do it. Are you ready? Okay, everybody, we're going to start with this one. I think this is a brilliant, this is the most modern, newest album I have. I um, actually just got this on Record Store Day, just uh, Saturday. Part of the G Collection, which is the first six albums of the Gorillas, And this is their first album. Uh, as you may or may not know, half of the band is... Jamie Hewlett, the creator of Tank Girl. So you might know him from that British artist, very highly um, respected and revered. Tank Girl was immensely popular at the time, kind of an indie book, very kind of, you know, uh, what would you call it? Just, it's very indie, kind of uh, irreverent, thumb at the nose of society and the establishment and everything and uh it has gone on through many permutations including movies and animation everything so uh that's where he got his uh kind of big break or, or his watershed moment but he also worked with damien on this band called gorillas and this is the first album and it's pretty freaking awesome the music is great but the art is great too. And I just wanted to show you some of this very much, uh, you know, comic book kind of style stuff we would say. You know, this is a brilliant little image here with some, you know, that's some real imagery, some Photoshopped uh, assemblage there of stuff. You know, this is all kind of assembled real, real items, Photoshopped with the line artwork. Um, really cool kind of um, graffiti type stuff as well. And you'll see here, here's the, uh, the two, this is a two disc set. Let's flip these over. These are the different songs. Each uh, track has kind of an image here. Very hip. Again, very kind of urban influenced, modern. There's these characters, and I maybe I should know who these characters are, but I don't know their names off the top of my head, but I know people know them. Uh, they are people or characters that are pretty darn popular. Um, I'm just not familiar with them quite enough to know the names, but I thought this was a great, just a really, really cool deal. And the whole the whole gimmick to the to gorillas is the band are these characters. So uh, when you see them in on concert, the humans who make up the band, 
they're behind a screen and you watch these animated characters make the music. So really, just really kind of cool idea. I thought this one you had to talk about. When you're talking about art, uh, you gotta talk about gorillas. Um, next. We're also gonna talk about Robert Crumb. Yeah, man. Robert Crumb did this album for Big Brother The Holding Company. This is the famous album that has Janis, Janis Joplin on it. Um, it's just brilliant. The music is brilliant, but check this out. Isn't this great? This is Robert freaking Crumb, and he's these all the, this panels approved by the Hell's Angels. I mean, this is just fascinating. Very Crumb, just super. Even with the like Mammy character here, it's just great, man. Here though, uh, the gatefold is just an image of the band performing. But let me tell you, there's Janice right there. But dude, this album cover is so freaking cool. I love Crumb. I love what he does here. Uh, the colors, everything about this is just pretty freaking awesome. So, um, yeah, share that. I think that would be a, a cool one to, to go into. Now, this one we're not going to get into much today because I'm going to do a full episode of this. This is Zarface, Hip Hop, uh, again, brand new, just came out. Uh, this is, you can tell, this looks just like Secret Wars number uh, eight, right? With the uh, symbiote melding with Spider-Man for the first time. And uh, very freaking cool. You would think something like this would be like Ed, uh, Ed Piscor would kind of like work on, but this is not Ed Piscor, this is some other dudes. Uh, the interior art I thumbed through is okay, but you know, it is what it is. But it's about the presentation. Really freaking cool. I'm excited about it just because it's just so different, you know? Just like melding comics and music and that kind of stuff, you know, it's, um, it's just awesome. It reminds me a lot of that other episode we did with the Batman, right? With this one we did the power record. So if you haven't listened to this, go check this this uh, episode too. So it's our face, dude. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, here's some more traditional stuff. This uh, artist is, I think it's Bartel. I'm not familiar with him. I thought originally it would be like uh, Bernie Fuchs because he looks a little bit like Bernie Fuchs, but it's not, it's um, this other guy. But this is a great album, by the way. Um, I really like these kind of portraits that are done. You see a lot of this in, in uh, you know, in pop and in these kind of older style stuff. You, you'll see a lot of this, uh, these images. But I, I like this. I like the kind of loose, abstract nature. You really see the impressionistic you know, the, the brush line, the, the brushwork in here. I like the sketchiness of the painting. Um, yeah, this is great stuff. Again, very great illustration. Big fan of that kind of stuff. Now, another huge fan. I think this is Robert McGinnis. I don't know if it is or not but it looks like his work. It looks like that tempura style that he would do um, a lot of these movie posters in the 50s, 60s, and even some in the 70s, uh, really before photography really, really caught on super big in the movies, um, this, these painted, uh, these painted posters were made. I'm a huge fan. Uh, Frazetta did some, it was big money back then. Frazetta did some, um, a bunch of the John Whitcomb, um, Al Parker did some. We'll talk about him in a in a bit. I mean, all the big like illustrators were doing these kind of movie posters. Of course, uh, you know Bob Peak would be the most famous probably. If you don't know who Bob Peak is, go look him up. He did um, like the Search for Spock, Star Trek stuff. Uh, he he did all the he did Apocalypse Now. All those kind of things are Bob Peak. Brilliant work. Um, 
yeah, so big fan. I just love, I just love this. This is a great, great image. So big fan of that. And similar to that, but with a little bit more uh, texture and stuff are these. I don't know the artist, but again, you're getting that illustration. We're trying to get likenesses of characters. This is really popular with soundtracks, motion picture stuff. You want to get the image of the singer or the actor in the film. But I, really, I just really like this composition. This is kind of neat. I like these different characters are kind of falling in place. That's a good. And similar to that is uh, this good back to the ugly. Murakone. Um, just really fun. Notice the really strong colors here make all these figures kind of pop out this this kind of orange okay one of my very favorite we just talked about just a moment ago is Bob Peak uh, Bob Peak is to me one of the best he is brilliant now inside you're gonna see photos of the show and the movie that's fine and dandy but I bought this honestly for this he is to me one of the greats the greats um, just just check this out. I mean, just look at this for a minute. Look at all the characters and all the action that's going in, all under this umbrella. And the very loose, abstract kind of just painting in, in colors here and brush strokes that's just in there, right? Trees, I mean, that's a tree, clearly, but, um, and this big, you know, heavy graphite or chalk or whatever this this wax pencil thing is for the umbrella. And it's just so gestural and loose. And you look at his face, that is Rex Harrington right there, dude. And that's Audrey Hepburn, there's no doubt. Beautiful hands. And then there's just all these fun figures and moments in the in the show that it kind of encapsulates. It is brilliant. He did a Camelot cover too for the the musical Camelot, which is brilliant. So anytime you see a Bob Peak album, I'm all about getting that because I think he is one of my very favorite illustrators. Huge freaking fan, dude. That's that's all there's to say about that. And kind of on the other side of that, now instead of doing that, now we've got a very much more abstract, broken down into shapes, simple shapes and colors in this kind of cartoon, cartooning way, which I really dig. Really nice typography here. Really cool way to do these letters in this little like band procession. Reminiscent of like some old children's you know, illustrations and stuff. Really, really cool. I dig this one a lot as well. That's kind of fun. There's a couple others I just thought I would throw out there. Kind of a Herbie Hancock. Those kind of interesting. A little bit of like space age. You know, 70s was really kind of getting that kind of alien stuff. Um, here's, again, similar to that Frank Sinatra one. It's just this nice illustration really heavy you can see the thick paint here on the on the guitar but i like these these kind of um the character studies almost right kind of nice here's a famous album um aqua log by jethro tull this is all painted as well this is you know probably some acrylics maybe some oils in here just really interesting art it's just this art, and here we talk about in the beginning man created God, and the image of man created he him. Yeah, very fascinating, kind of very biblical, right, of course. Um, so I thought this was kind of, kind of neat artwork. Very much um, concept album type stuff, right? Next couple I thought were just kind of neat because it's just this black and white penciled work, or ink work rather. Um, 
I just really like the shading here. I like the, the contrast, the black piano. And it's loose. It's kind of fun. And Lester Young's a great little. And then similar Elton John here. Kind of a loose, really nice contour lines here of this kiss. Here, this is beautiful. This Everything's coming into this little, this little moment right there. That's a great image in the, the colors and everything, yeah. I'm digging that one as well. I thought those were both kind of fun. And then, let's switch gears slightly, our second to the last. We gotta talk about Sgt. Pepper because this is considered, while it's not illustration, I thought it would be important to talk about because of its significance. This album art, uh, was extremely ambitious and extremely well thought out and planned out and just really brilliant. This was brilliant. And then we had this beautiful gatefold here of the, the Fab Four here. But I really like this. This album cover has been, you know, uh, there have been... Um, homages to this in so many, so many albums. That, that was really cool. I think even like Tower the Creator or somebody did, did a Sgt. Pepper. Okay, and we cannot, we cannot talk about album covers and art and albums unless we talk about Yes. And I said, you know what? We gotta talk about freaking Yes, dude. This has gotta happen. So, we're breaking out Yes. Now, Yes is this prog band. They have long songs and they have brilliant art. This All this art is done by an artist named Roger Dean. And I actually have an episode talking about him early, early on in the channel. Um, I love this stuff. This to me says 70s. This says Alien Space World. This is just brilliant, you guys. And I don't know the size of these originals. I don't know how big they are, but I'll tell you what, look at these things. They are so freaking cool. I love you know, the airbrush. I love the colors, the, the, the just the feeling of these alien worlds, right? Is just so, so neat. They really do transport you to somewhere different and um, and, and along with the music. So very cool. Here's another one. He uh, just has just the coolest ideas. And here's the last one, Fragile. Which if you like Jojo, uh, if you like Jojo the anime, then you know uh, this song uh, is on this one, says so Runabout. So, yeah, great stuff. There you go, that's my albums for now. Let me know if you guys want me to do more. I've got a lot more, we can talk more about that. Uh, every Tuesday, every Saturday, I got new videos. Sometimes on third Thursdays, I do a live video or I do something about uh, movies. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can join the Patreon, check that out, be a part of the team that way. Also, uh, check out some of the links I put in the um, description and subscribe. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful night.